today i told you every every day cory wears a lotion it's, it's it's his dress code it's how i live my life man i just i believe in passing on the I law think, i think if you wear that shirt you play a little bit better i like to believe that too that was, i feel like if you take off that shirt there's another one underneath that and a couple of those cheese uh craig's cheese balls yeah, cheese I balls. balls i can like a little more enthusiasm out of the thumb this is kind of <laughs> I mean, it's proper, but that's yeah, just, yeah. It's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a kid. That's the, that's oh, good. thanks for letting me in the lane. Oh. Dude, that Ugo Chocolate. looks, looks pretty badass. So, are we rolling? Duh. Oh. I didn't hear any of those. Let's get, it, let's get a sound voices. sample, and then we'll get into talking about it. Let's listen So, this first. is the K-Ashogmagati, <laughs> the A-S-M-H, A-S-M-H, yeah, just play the damn thing. Yeah, all solid solid so much of this. Give me a chance. Let your fingers do the talking. <laughs> People want to listen to your fingers, not your mouth. The Miyazaki, yeah, mm-hmm. or in in Japanese, uh, Sento Chihiro no Kamikakushi. Oh, now you want to speak Japanese? <laughs> it's just a, it's just the title of a movie, because we're, we're we're not at the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So this model was born in a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> yes, it was. It was uh, El Ranchero <laughs> in Vajava, Vajava, and we sat with Patrick Pat. McCarthy. And oh, in that case, I have to do a. Some of the points were all solid. We we loved the tone woods of spruce mahogany, but we didn't think the mahogany needed to be stained, mm-hmm. just the natural wood look. And those edges, remember, we're talking about them being more soft edges, softy. And and of course, we love the satin. And they hit a home run. They delivered. To me, ebony's really like, ooh, it's it's got this handsome quality. But the lighter wood, too, with the lighter back, it makes the ebony pop even more. Yep. Rather than dark on dark, it's there's a nice contrast with the rosette. I don't know. I I wish wood rosette, nice natural wood. I like the whole rounded edge and whatever, but it feels naked without. Yeah, but would it cost? It would have cost more. 
Yeah, I like the dollar. No, I, I even... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of like it without the bindings. It's um, it's something that, like, you know, they each have their own place, but it works somehow in it's that like natural way. I mean, if it was gloss, maybe not, or I don't know. There's something natural about that whole thing. No, nah, I just like it minimalist. I think it... I don't know. Yeah, it looks perfect satin. I don't know about a gloss. Yeah, I mean, for some I, folks, it's one of my favorite wood combinations. And it's all solid, and it's gonna come in under. So the package, no, the oh. package I'm gonna do is with the canvas covered hard oh, case right. for two ninety nine. Nice. That's a good deal. Oh, nice. because yeah, I want to make good. sure people get a case with it too. And I mean, they usually do add on a case with a solid wood instrument, but this is gonna be our exclusive model, so we can kind of do what we want with it. But we still want to keep that price really great. It's not bad with the Aquilas, but it sounds really good with the Ajos on it, too. So that's what you hear now. It'll be an upgrade option to the Koalao Ajo Loji set. Did you just put those on just earlier, Joel? Mm -hmm. So they're still stretching. Yeah, a little bit little stretching. Bit. Let's get a sample with the Aquilas. It's very balanced. Sounds awesome. This model sounds unique, but I, I'm trying to place what, what I would uh, describe it, you know, what, what's similar to this model. It's kind of like the, it reminds me like the Pono, like the a, uh, ATSP, but oh, well, a little bit woods, like on the higher, like the bit but brighter. brighter. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, for sure, brighter. I don't know, for me, it kind of sounds like, like the Arutani model. But oh, warmer, yeah. like a warmer Aurantani model. That's right. Well, because that was all solid spruce rose. Now spruce we're rose, one. yeah. Spruce you know, beyond it being our exclusive model and just being totally objective about it, wouldn't you guys say that this is like one of the best sounding Kala imports you've heard? Yes. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was That's like, sure. wow, firm. this is um, firm, yes. for that price. Is if, like. If you go back a couple years, Kala had the ass slat lace wood, I, yeah, which is the solid, all solid I love spruce that and model. lace wood. It does almost remind me of that. Too. I, I'm yeah. getting, I'm getting a little bit of that in my head. It's I don't know. This has a that was my favorite model. It was me too. From, like from more Kala of like a, before. it's like that, but this has more of a refined sound. I, I feel like that one was like way too muddy. Well, so it, it had was, a really good. Tone. Yeah, it was more an all warm kind of right. Yeah. This has warm. like it's like a hot cold effect yeah. with the mahogany and the spruce. I wish we still had one just to have it, but my friend has one. The Aslat? Yeah, we he got the, he got like one of the last ones. Going. Do we not? Can we not get this going? Because uh, it's like these times where this cuts off. I, mean. I can't wait to hear one of these with a pickup in it as well. Mm -hmm. Because it's kind that'd of that'd be a good one to throw the double in. Ooh, ooh, mm. ooh, ooh! But we don't got that yet. Not yet. Yeah. When are we getting that? One um, day. <laughs> I just talked to Leilani today, but it's they said the next shipment. So they had one that came in today, but it wasn't the... the that wasn't the next one. No. Even though it kind of was. 
this is the current one. It's gonna be the next one. It's surprisingly warm. Hey, um, yeah, Clay, let's get the, a quick sample with you on these. The um, mahogany the, okay. complements the spruce too. quite well. What's the name of that song? I was picturing Zach's voice. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a James Arthur song. You uh, say you won't let go. Yeah, I've heard that song, but I was just like, I, I was trying to think of two songs. Like everybody know knows it, but nobody sure really knows that. the name because the title is kind of long. What's the name of the? What's the title of the song? Say you won't let go. So the cold no. loud A H O O G. Still settling. Yeah. Settle down. They're just Settle excited. Down. Settle, down. Settle down. Settle down. You want to do what Corey does and just tune a little bit as you go through the song? <laughs> what? I don't do that. <laughs> no, no, no. You did I it pretty gracefully. You got to do what you got to do. I think you're just imagining things. But that's good. Thanks. You guys are really nice tonight. That's bad. Condescending. (laughs) But in a good way. I meant it. I almost feel like this one's going to sound better. This song is going to sound better with the low G.
That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, just kind of like uh, carry the, the, the low end. Yeah, so especially when you go up here. Like... Yeah. It fills in nicely. It reminds me a lot of the, uh, the ASFM T model. The, the cutaway maple? maple one, but I mean, it's it's different because of the screw stop. That really reminds me of that sound. Oh, and, and, and no maple. That too. Uh, it's still like it's got a little more low end to it. I, I think the yeah. spruce top's the only same thing about it. Right? Oh, that one is all maple you're talking all about, right? Oh, all maple? Which one? The one with the cutaway? The ASF... Oh, the new one? ASFM oh. T-C. I don't know. Personally, I think this is like a little bit more of an ins- uh Like just a little bit more body. and But those all maple sound great. It sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, that thing is... Super no, it's perfect because, like, in the store, one of the main ones we end up showing people is like the STG and the SMHT, like, which will still be there at the about a hundred bucks but this less. Is the perfect but this, right yeah. in the middle of I it. I think too. this is like a steal at like two ninety nine with the case. Dude. Yeah, because the SMHT is like right? what two eighty nine. Like seriously, for like a student that was looking in that price range, like, could you think of a better option? I mean, that's like, sound wise, can, can we sell it without the case in the sh- store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. what would that be at and that we, point? Um, 298 No, like 260, 269 or something like Yeah. Yeah, so there's hardly anything right in that price range that's all solid. I, I can't think other than the SMHT coming in at 259 I mean, oh, no, it's, it's very similar to the um, SMHT. It's just different if you want a spruce top. And then the ebony has its own look. It's it's kind of its own thing. It's got a different look than most of yeah. their line. But um, I'm very pleased with how they turned out. I mean, we, we ordered... Um, you know, quite a quite it's a few, ours. but they're you know, um, yeah, we'll be getting more, and um, we've got a lot to cover tonight. We could talk a whole lot about this, mm-hmm. but um, let's move on to these two EEVs that came in because <gasps> Yay! they're super sick. And um, so it's the same woods, it's bear claw spruce and pal ferro sides and back, but the difference is on the soundboards. So ferro on the E. Oh, yeah, and so um. One of them has his classic three-hole EEV soundboard and then, design, oh, yeah. and, and the, the other is soundboard. the first time we're ever getting a um, tenor with the regular sound hole, and it'd be interesting to, I guess, in, in a sense, we're going to hear what, Dang, what his Charles. three-hole Look at design. That thing. Um, Look at that face, man. It's just so much. That's why I feel like it resonates so much. It's so huge. Like, it doesn't come in too much on the side, so you just have a bigger... Oh, yeah, she got a fat Jeez. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's easy, Corey. You'll get, you get to <laughs> test her out, so don't worry. Yeah. It's like a... He's playing the dirty old man. from the Revenant. I got to that one. Thicker, thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> See all that? Stand, <laughs> stand, <laughs> stand a spoon up in it. <laughs> I gotta show you that video after. <laughs> so clear. Yeah.
Okay, as as we try the other one, let's let's try to get it tuned up and get another sample and then the and top then just uh, wait to give our comparison thoughts until after we fully The top sound the hole, is it bigger than Yes. Normal? No, it's the, it's his regular design. Oh, this is like the the D twenty eight of ukuleles. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like that. Uh, yeah, same body shape, yeah. Damn. It would be the D thirty five or the D forty two though. That's We're talking about marching guitars. For those of you who don't know what the D twenty eight is, actually, this would be the a dreadnought from the custom shop. Thirteen thousand dollars <laughs> or more. What we're basically comparing is sound hole design on the top because they're actually like braced the same and everything I can. There's a difference, but not, it's not huge. Hey, hey, save it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to propaganda me. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. That's what I do to my kids. When I know, like, fighting. Hey, 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 hey. Ma, ma, ma. hey. Settle down. It's, no, it's normally towards oh, Colty, too. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Alright. That's why he does that to his little brother. definitely hear I think this one still has a little bit more of the clarity to it but I think it's definitely before we play that one I was gonna say it probably sounds because of the sound holes like it lets out it's not as a uh, I don't know I think you get the clarity because certain frequencies will come out in different sound holes so it's yeah, almost like I it think comes when out we separately AB, I think you're gonna hear something different yeah. and maybe I think when you go back to back because what I, I did that earlier but I don't know what do you think Zach can't tell honestly <laughs> yeah, it's like i hear it's like yeah clay sounds great yeah clay sounds great again <laughs> <laughs> now the evs no, like always the sound amazing sounds great. They oh, both, it sounds great again <laughs> both of you just sit side by side and you a b the same riff real quick wait, wait i still remember i want to get, what, I wanna get your thoughts they both sound like i i prefer the first one why i think it has a little bit more lows to it yeah clarity wise they're kind of about the same Mm. This one sounds maybe I mean, even a little bit more clear. Like, I think I think that that one has a touch more trouble. Like it on does. The, yeah. Yeah. I, it almost sounds like this one's a little bit more like a tighter kind of sound. That's deeper, tiny bit more open. Yeah. But clarity between the two, for me, I I don't even have headphones on. But um, from what I hear acoustically, I prefer the first one. For me, looks wise, I think I'd pick that. I've always wanted to. Oh, this. <laughs> Yeah, check out this bear claw spruce, man. Dang. Yeah, let's get a, a tight A B on them. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, but you have to go be around like how we did that one time. No, we're just gonna switch it r real fast. Yeah. Tough. Do it again. 
but Pasta. Oh. Pasta. <laughs> but yeah, I, I still like his classic design. Yeah, it is different. It almost depends on the setting. Like the single hole one might work better for a scenario where you're not trying to fill in a solo ukulele thing. You know, you're, the balance in this one is better, huh? Like yeah. I, I, I feel like th that th the three holes a better solo ukulele one, and maybe if you're in a group, the single hole would be more like the frequencies you want to come through with more focus on. Corey, get in there and do that. Don't Sorry, barking, barking orders out. It's. Objectively, they both sound good. <laughs> I know. I, but yeah, that is pretty close. I still like, uh, yeah, I like the three sound hole a little bit more, but it's, it's pretty Woo! close. It's almost like for someone who's new to the market wouldn't, wouldn't be able to tell. I, I think you could trick me if I closed my eyes. You said you changed it. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. I think I get the difference. Oh, we can, we can do that. Start again so I can get a proper sound sample for the website. Yeah. one better yeah i can't tell if you liking it is making me like it more are you playing it with a little more passion i'm altering your uh... <laughs> i get the same effect <laughs> while i'm play like when i play a d28 martin it's, it's like the the petro six yeah me and Corey both like the, the different ones I think I like the bass response on this one better. It's more pronounced. It's for sure. They like a short two second thing. No, 
I think I, I, I'm kind of back around to this it now. This warmer. What? Yeah. Right? No, no, it, it does have more fullness to it, but there's a spread because of the way the yeah. knuckles are that, like, give you a spaciousness. That the, the other one's tighter and more focused, but it's, it's definitely a little bit less in the low end. Low end. That's, this is better clarity. I don't know, though. Wow. Yeah. Play the same exact thing. what I was thinking. It's just like the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> no. It's like the no, Jonas Brothers. Like, what, what, one know, is like, better what than the other one. Siblings, right? you know. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> we all know. Yeah, we don't have to get into it, but everybody knows what's up. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Keep going back and forth. I want to hear. Something simple. Like, uh, it's like three simple chords. <laughs> Um, do the vamp, do the Hawaiian vamp. There's a still a little bit less opening I think your mood is changing. than that that one I think big your one mood is, is changing. The it more that is. like like if you put a side port in that one with the three holes, it would probably hmm. sound closer to the way that one sounds. Just okay. Kind All of right, Charlie. More. Next time we need three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do no sound hole and just right up here sound port. The side port and get that pulse. Oh man, it's that's cool though. I've been waiting for that. To have that side by side for a while. Looks a lot like a plain uh, Clara Walnut, right? No, just me. Okay. No, it's it, it's uh, it's that South American exotic. They both have their own unique bear claws for his top, though. I guess that could yeah, be a both, touch of a both factor. Both look pretty. You just hold them both of them. Yeah. Now it sounds closer. the same. It's closer, it's closer, it's closer when, when you don't touch it, right? Yeah. Wow. Because because the back is giving so much more tone. Actually, when you don't touch, touch it, I'll take the, the single one. <laughs> because gonna, that's how much tone is resonating from the I back know. when you got the good. It I mean, makes an argument so for that posture. Oh boy. Here, here goes the UU oh, tomorrow when these are released. Always perform like that. Dude, <laughs> I, I think it made me you feel just better. I don't look at anybody. It's almost fetal. Wait. <laughs> okay, is he in pain? Standing up? It's like, what's, is he okay? <laughs> is he crying like... while he's playing? <laughs> you heard of flamenco. What about the flamingo? The, <laughs> the flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> the Okinawan <Pepe>. flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way Pepe plays because he like hugs his uh, he like hugs his guitar. Oh, yeah, it's like, so intimate. Sing for me, mother. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Caesar Milano guitar player. He's the best guitar maker. maker. <laughs> no, sorry, he does the he does the claw. Yeah. It's like before I bring this ukulele home to my pack, it has to. <laughs> It has to have that alpha, that alpha <laughs> substance. Goodness. When I hit a fart note. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> we could also spend twice as long on these oh two. But um, there's something so cool that came out from Koloha um, just now that we we gotta show you guys. So take yeah. a break. Wash my hands for a second, but. Oh, you're getting. Do. Yeah, he's doing it dirty. Yeah. I want you to give a serious one-minute sample on the KTM logo. 
Okay. Exactly one minute. Ready. Hey. Be serious. Why are you so serious? I'm always serious. Before. Do you want to put something cool under it? Or... Um, maybe. I mean, can grab an ice pack from the freezer and just put like a cloth over it. Yeah. That'll cool it down quick. I think I like this one. Yeah, I mean, I hear things differently as different as people, you know, play them. And sometimes it's a little bit different when you're like in front of the instrument yourself. But when I hold them and play them, I I feel a, that the new shape, it like, it's a little bit sweeter. Like it, there's almost like a, a growl or an overdrive-ish yeah. kind yeah. of you know sound to the older style that it doesn't have but it cleans it up and it's got this smoother that's I the way it i hear it has that grungy like really right i mean it's full and, and deep but it sounds to me like it's a, a little bit almost cleaner at least when i played it you know it, it definitely is cleaner I, um it's a little bit closer to the like ones that paul and grizz make like right in sound Light, lighter. Mm. Oh. Awesome. I've never done this before. This helps. Give us a sound. Like, oh, let's yeah. get the sample. Wait, wait, wait. One second. Give me one second.
blacked out and kept playing there. Oh, I did. It was so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink energy drinks anymore, but I spend a lot of money on sparkle water. Yeah. So what can we say about this? It's uh, t- tucked in about a quarter inch more on the waist. So you get those beautiful curves that you kind of got with the Koloha concert model, but in the tenor. Right, yeah. And it's and not so it flat at the bottom. It's a little bit. Also flat. reminds me of some of the black label tenors in that regard. Mm-hmm. Instead of 15 fret to body, it's 14 fret to body, which puts the bridge in the belly of the beast right there. Just to that get that sweet fat, fat, sweet. Yeah. And with the Koloha sound mm. already having power and volume, I, I really, I really like this latest KTMO. Oh, would be my personal favorite so far. And I gotta say too, you know, Paul, just, he didn't have to do anything. The KTMO is a classic. Like, as it was, it, sounds awesome do you, and do you somehow feel like to me this is just like uh, for me personally this is just getting that voice a little bit closer and I feel like there's less problematic issues in the low mids once you start amplifying instruments and stuff it can be a little bit more problematic it's not the thing it records a lot easier because of that record and perform that I feel like it's I, I, feel, I just feel like it's mixed a little bit nicer for my for my era but I, I, mean, I feel like it still has the ability like if you put the right string set on it you could still get that lowness out of it if you wanted i feel like it does have the lowness there's just something in between yeah. it's a it there's a low mid that the other one kind of growled a little bit more at. covered up a little bit i i felt like uh i feel like this is like a little bit more clear because of that but i don't know I'm interested in your guys' thoughts. Did Khalid play either of them yet? Let's no. do, you, do you feel like it's an improvement? I do. I, I think so. Um, I mean, it's not... I'm not saying anything bad about the old one, but... Um, it feels like, a, like it's modernized, if that makes a sense. Like, yeah, not so that the other is, one's old. It's like version... Well, I mean, I can't, we can't say version 2.0. No, they're, they're both cool. I mean, yeah. like, this one has more of those curves, and, like, I like how it's kind of tucked in at the waist. I also, it's 14 fret to body. That's um, what most, um, you know, ukes are at. I almost feel like they should ha- still have the old one. They should call uh, this yeah. the KTM 02 or like, something. I would be kind of bummed out if it was just gone, gone. But at the yeah. same time, like, I, that's not... There's, I can't complain about that one at all. It's different, but it's they're nah. It's like amazing. it's like you know with any like car model, you know. For me, this is one is an improvement. But you're gonna have those like fans of that year Honda or whatever yeah. it is. But it's you still know? like it doesn't. It obviously sounds like a Koloha. That's the yeah. LED. I mean, this these are still model. minor differences. Yeah. yeah. Because what they did is they took the exact same bracing and just kind of shifted the whole thing down one fret. It and, still um, performs like just like the old one but there's a little bit of different tone coming yeah. through the new shape yeah slightly different voicing right I feel like it's a remix you know or a remaster you play that same thing on the other version It's like I don't know. I like them both best. I think the the older the older design that seems to have more lows, but this one I like the mids on this new one. Oh yeah, yeah. it's like 
yeah, you'd want both. I'd yeah. first, depending on. Because old one, I always feel like the... <laughs> Look at you. I, you gotta have an old model KTM and a new, and a new one. one. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is like even if someone has the other one, like if you were gonna get another instrument, it, I wouldn't be opposed to having both. Like no doubt, yeah. They like if are, you already, they're, they're kind of unique enough to be. Like there's some customers that I talk to because I really like I love Koalohas. Yeah. But there's some that like they have no peel. They have a couple Koalohas. Like they are just into the yeah, sound yeah, yeah. of them in general. Like. I understand. Is is new. It's right. different, but it's still like if you love Koaloha sound, it's awesome. Yeah. I almost feel like the more I play it, it's a it's a different instrument. <laughs> it's it is quite different. But almost like like a completely different. It's more syrupy in the middle, you know. Whoa, Ooh, sweet. <laughs> Pairs well with pancakes. <laughs> I use a ketogenic friendly syrup. Oh yeah, some monk fruit syrup. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, non fly Macanto. Oh yeah, monk fruit. That one is like a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. This one's like the McGriddle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with the syrup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the yes. syrup was built into the McMuffin part. There we go, yeah. Right? You bite into it, and it yeah. It had the little yes. flavor pockets of syrup. <laughs> that thing was evil. There is a, there's definitely a level of sweetness involved in this model. But honestly, it's like two, two great voices, you know? It's really hard to say which one is better. Let's get Kaleo. But it's different. Yeah. Yeah. I really like the clarity and... I know you don't want to stop playing that It's overall balance. It's hard to get him to stop once he gets going. Kaleo, you just got to start walking in there. thing like just like Joel said earlier the weight yeah this one's much lighter interesting difference in sound between the two I, I almost feel like the tone and the notes come out clearer yeah that's what I was thinking shape. too yeah that one sounds a little bit more hollowed out but it definitely, has that, that definitely, frequency that yeah yeah, yeah like, there, really. kind of like you know you're speaking like this but still you can hear it nice and clear but down definitely the old model definitely has more lows. That's the brown it's sugar very, model. It's That's really, the maple syrup. <laughs> it's really boomy, but they're both I sweet. I feel like this one just sweet. It's really balanced. I'm kind of hoping, like playing these back and forth. I hope they don't remove. 
the old, the original KTM. Oh, yeah, because oh. I think they should offer both. Yeah. Try, try I, again. Oh, that's going to be a, a bit of production so nightmare hard. doing both. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I like the new sound. Yeah. It's just more body, you know? It's more body, and it's like they got rid of that mid range. That mid range. I feel like there's scoop. almost more there's like lows. There's like a mid range scoop then, in here. I think, yeah, the there's more lows, right? Or uh, There's just, more lows, but less mids. You it's think like, they like took this. the bass and it's they like just a, compressed mm. it, right? This one's more like a happy face kind of EQ. You got your highs, and then your, your so mids you see are lower. The other design fills lows. in the lows a little bit, but that one, a little bit less punch on the lows. That one is more like you have your highs, then you have, instead of going down on the mids, the mids are bumped up, and the lows seem to come down a slight I feel like bit the to low match. frequency was even cut so it's like which on this one it's like it goes like this but then with the new one it goes from here like it doesn't hit those low ones it goes here then up and then it's weird huh? I, don't, I, I, I hear this fatness and I hear this sweetness with with the new sound but then it's like um it definitely has a little bit less in the 250 pu- K kind of punch. Oh, this you know, it's it's like, but which gives it more clarity? And I don't know. Yeah. So I like my women, fat and sweet. Do that a couple more times. has that tone that like their red and black labels kind of have I don't know what it is so it's definitely definitely more clarity I mean if I had to choose like which one if I was buying one I'd probably go with this but I understand what Paul opinion. was doing because as like somebody that mixes ukulele sound a lot I think he took down some of the frequencies I would have taken down if i was like you know i don't i don't actually mix our stuff like a mixer would but if i was recording for an album or something i would eq each sound and i feel like the problem frequencies in terms of recording were definitely taken out and i know that also transfers to like issues that happen when you amplify it but but yeah i mean like acoustically it's like man it's just different I wouldn't Sorry, even say both, better at this yeah, point. Yeah, they're both good. They're both uh, really good. It's different, but I'm not angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something like, like different, that. but I ain't happy. If I was, to, if I was shopping for a KTM OO, I mean, I would be happy with either, like with this one or that one. But if I had a choice, if you put these two side to side, mm. I'd probably my ears tend to like this one. one. <laughs> I, I would. But that's yeah. just my opinion, you know. Find. I don't know. Yeah, it's almost like he EQ'd these instruments, you know. It definitely, it's a voicing, you know, but he's still experimenting. He's still, you know, talking about slight differences in sound hole sizes and, you know, adjustments from the aesthetics. And that's what I love because it's like after 20 years of doing this, he's still trying to rethink everything. And sometimes in any business, you know, but especially in manufacturing, you just have to like rethink everything, you know, and uh, and kind of it's it's just so much easier to just keep doing what you're doing, especially in any production way, you know. So I give yeah mucho props. props. Yeah.
All right, guys, it's uh, what song was a little that? bit late, but yeah, what song was that? Everybody always wants to know what song that, um, as you all know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, okay. yeah, hey, um, the call it Funky Sound Jesus. Sample Sound Podcast song for yeah, Cold Oha. this episode. <laughs> I don't know We're gonna wrap it up, be. but um, let's end on a little teaser, and I'll ask Kalei to just kind of give a twirl to one of the Maloas, the first box I grabbed and brought up here. But that's a whole nother video. Oh. There's a lot of models. There's a lot of things to go over. But and who else has these? You know, I got to say, it, it's not going to be everybody's oh. cup of tea, no, but no. as far as in the value category, I would uh, label this one ridiculous. Rated R for ridiculous. If you've ever seen the movie Spaceballs, there's fast, there's very fast, and there's ludicrous. <laughs> ludicrous. Bridges. Damn. Luda. I haven't even seen them yet. Show it. Let me see. So, coming Spanish. soon. Wait, let me get that. Get a little bit more. That headstock's cool. I like that. The way that the stock goes for? all the way around. Five nine nine. Wah ha ha No 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 no. I gotta set up a whole. I gotta I gotta talk to them and see if, what kind of. The the thing is like there's gonna be a pricing structure that's gonna be like a distributor style, you know, so that other dealers in America can also pick up from us. But I Boy, think so we, we are gonna do that. Well, I haven't made anything final with them yet, but yeah, I mean, after seeing a few from this order, and I still gotta go through it, yeah. but yeah, I, I do, I do want to do that with year, them. But um, last year they offered me. But yeah, I mean, the first batch that we get, <laughs> they're gonna be probably cheaper than what they're gonna be moving forward to. Kind of get them out into the market at a nice price and stuff, and uh, get some good reviews going on them and stuff. I mean. <sighs> they're gonna be way reasonable you know they're yeah. gonna be like well under a grand at this point but the retail like on something like that would probably be um, $9.99 oh I mean for someone else yeah well uh, $9.99 and dealers will sell it for $7.99 but like yeah you know we might Whoa, sell this really? first batch at like $5.99 or $6.49 <laughs> okay alright but look arm That's devil inlays all solids look i mean no you know. i know let me, let me i mean i i haven't looked at i'm uh, maybe that model's a touch more i, I hope i'm not hey, like hey, spooky there. <laughs> well for right now that's fine but like you know no, no, no. moving forward it, it could be like quite a bit more definitely um this first batch and there's different woods there's like spruce rosewood or uh, you know spruce uh, uh man i forget there's there's a bunch of different setups you know there's all solid mahogany ones but they all have little different touches of inlays and beautiful appointments and all super reasonable within the grand range i mean they're gonna they're gonna really hit the market and um i expect Joel to kind of find his favorite sets on the different models, working with them a lot and stuff. And I think they're taking uh, Corey and Kalei over to Asia to do some touring, and it'll be a good time for you guys to also talk to them, trying to like work with them to get the voicings, just like how you want to, you know, have it. And, all of those sort of feedback things that make a company grow and get better. I'm sure they're, you know, Noah and, and uh, my dad have been there and it's like a 
highly automated. It's almost like Taylor in Asia, this, this factory. And, um, you know, they've done some OEM work for other, you know, well-known guitar makers and they're kind of ready to step out on their own with their own line. And I feel like, uh, we'll see. With this first batch, maybe they like spent a little bit more time, but, I, you know, I had Billy go over it earlier and he was surprised at just how you know it's impressive i am impressed as well and and we have yet to listen to their spruce and and um mm. hardwood back and sides models and there's there's a lot to come so we just don't have time tonight but uh we'll be back soon <laughs>